Hey, Jared here from soundguitarlessons.com. I get asked all the time how to harmonize a melody, how to add chords to a melody uh, in any situation, whether you write the melody on the guitar, but m a lot of people who are asking this are hearing a melody in their head or humming it or whistling something or saying, oh, I kind of like that, that's kind of catchy. And then you go to your guitar and you kind of plunk out the notes, you find where what they would be. And then you're like, well, what chords work over that melody and how do I figure that out? Well, that's what this lesson is all about. We're gonna learn how to add chords, the correct chords, harmonize a melody with chords of any kind in a key. Let's do it, it'll be fun. So I have five steps for you that we're gonna walk through. The first step is to just make up a simple melody. Um, I recommend that you do this if you're comfortable doing this from singing, humming, whistling, and then we're gonna transfer it onto the guitar and figure out the chords. But if you need the guitar to write the melody, that's fine too. If you do need the guitar or either way, just make sure your melody is in a key, in a scale, something very simple, okay? So I'm not super great at this, but I'm just gonna hum a little something and start piecing together a melody. And then step two, we'll start to shape up how we figure out the chords in it. So, bum, 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 just random note. Dun, bum, 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 da, dun, dun. Okay, let's see. Bum, 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 bum. Why not? Da. That's my melody, okay? So whatever it is for you, if you wanna do it right now, pause this video and work on it or just keep all these steps in mind, you're, of course, the starting point is already the point of this lesson is you have a melody, you have something, how do we add chords to it? So you're gonna have your melody, whatever it is, super simple. And then let's move on to step two. Step number two is that you want to determine the scale degree numbers of your melody. Okay, so there's some prerequisite information here that we want to know, and I'll expose you to some of it, but you'll know, if you don't know this stuff, then you'll know you have kind of some homework, a path to go down to study that should be helpful for you. So, now just by ear, because I practice, I practice singing for my ears. So I'm very aware that I'm singing one, six, five, six, one, one, two, three, four, three, two, one. All stepwise, well, almost stepwise. It's in, uh, I think of it as stepwise at the first one, six, five, because it's part of the pentatonic scale. You don't need to know that stuff, but you do need to plunk out the melody on the guitar and kind of analyze or do it by ear, analyze what the scale degree numbers are. Okay, so bah, let's find it on the guitar and then I'll talk about some ways you can work on that if you need to. So I don't know what key I'm in or anything. Bah. Okay, bah. and I was off from that too. So I'm like, I was like in between two notes and that's fine. Okay, so here I am. Okay, so I happen to be in the scale of E flat. One, six, five, six, one, one, two, three, four, three, two, one. If you don't know the structure of the major scale, that is a huge homework assignment for you to figure out. Huge in the sense that it's impactful and critical, but it's actually not that complicated. All it is is that you have seven notes and you have to memorize where the half steps are, which are between three and four and seven and one. So you can do it right now on any string. Choose a note, call it one. I'm on E flat, the note, sixth, sixth fret of the fifth string. We're gonna go one, one to two is a whole step. Two to three is a whole step. We have to memorize that three to four is a half step. Three, four, half step. Okay, four to five is a whole step because it's not a half step. You just remember those two half step spots in your set. Five, six, six, seven, and then seven to one. Okay, Doesn't if you're on a different guitar, do it somewhere else. Um, one, and you can go down too. Okay, one to seven is a half step, seven to six, six to five. If you can work that out, and if you're working on scale shapes on the guitar, which I have a free PDF download of all the scale shapes that you can work on, all the scale forms all over the guitar. Uh, it's called the Printable Parent Scales PDF, and there's a link to it in the description if you wanna grab that. You can start to work out those numbers in the scale forms. One, two, three, three to four is a half step, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven to one is a half step. Okay, so that is critical. If you can work that out, then whatever melody you make up, you should be able to find, oh, cool, I can kind of figure out that it's these numbers. Sometimes you might not know for sure, but you can start taking good guesses at it. If there's a half step anywhere in your melody, you know that it is seven to one or three to four, if it's in a major key. If it's in a minor key, then uh, the half steps are in a different spot. 
and that's your second homework item is to eventually work on the minor key structure as well. So I'm totally doing this on the fly. I, don't, I didn't like plan that melody or anything. Okay, so that is step two. Figure out the structure, figure out the numbers, what they are. Now let's go on to step three. Step number three is that you want to review the chords in that key. So here's another prerequisite thing for yourself. You need to know the chord qualities through a key. Well, it's very simple, so let me give you just a quick background on it. The no, the scale has seven notes in it. You already learned where the half steps are in that. Well, every every note in the scale has a chord that is built off of it. So there's a one of the scale, two of the scale, three of the scale, four. Okay, so there's a one chord, a two chord, a three chord, a four chord, and the chords are built off of those notes. And one step further of this information is the chords that are built off of those notes are simply every other note for three notes. Okay, so this note is one, and there's a chord built off of it, and the chord is called the one chord, okay? And the notes in that chord are one, three, five, one, skip two, take three, skip four, five. That's your one chord. Those are the notes in the one chord. And every other chord is the same way. This is two of the scale, and there's a chord built off of it called the two chord. And every other note for three notes is the two chord, one, I'm gonna call it one. One, skip the next note, three, skip the next note, five, one, three, five of the two chord. Don't let that confuse you. Yes, you can just think of it as two, four, six of the scale, if you like. Whatever way it works for you, you need to know there's a chord built off of each note of the scale, and it's every other note for three notes. So you can start to work those out all over the place. Off the three chord, off the four chord, off the five chord, kind of find those notes, okay? so. You need to know, we all need to know, or it benefits us to know at least, the chords through a, the key. And we wanna review the chords in the key that we just figured out that our melody's in. So whatever key it is, figure that out, figure out the numbers, and now review the chords. Okay, well, I'm in E flat, major. So this is the one chord of the key. You can use any chord voicings, by the way, any shapes. I'm just gonna use these. One chord of the key, two chord is minor, three chord is minor, four chord is major, five chord is major, six chord is minor, and you can use the seven chord too. Seven, seven chord is diminished and back to one. Okay, so the thing for you to memorize eventually is one chord, major. Two chord, always minor in every major key. Three chord is always a minor chord in every major key. Four chord is always a major chord. You get what I'm saying? It's the same in every key. Four chord is major, five chord is major, six chord is minor. Seventh chord of the key is diminished. You don't have to understand little pieces that you don't get. If you don't know why, that's okay right now. But you hopefully you either know this and you're doing your, your assignment so you can harmonize your melody or you don't know this and I'm giving you little notes on ah oh, okay I gotta go towards working on that and I have tons of lessons on this stuff on my channel so check out like my chord theory series that walks through this stuff from the ground up if you want to learn all about it and master it my chord theory series I'll link to it in the description okay so that is that step reviewing your chords in the key like we just did let's move on to step number four okay Step number four is where we're actually doing it here. You wanna go back to your melody. And you wanna figure out what notes are emphasized, what notes feel stronger, more important. This happens in two ways. One, you, you stay on the notes longer, or the notes happen on stronger beats, such as beats one, two, three, four, instead of upbeats, or beats one and three three are stronger beats. So you just wanna figure out, even if you don't know why, what notes feel most important to you? What notes feel like the critical kind of change moments that uh, might be might make it mean that it's a more important note? Okay, so one, two, three, if I'm playing at that tempo. So this note is critical important. This note happens really quickly. So it's not gonna be a note that I'm thinking of as one of the more important notes. So we're mapping out our important notes and then we are thinking of what chords has that note, which of the chords that we just reviewed has that note in it. Okay, let's just start with those two because this is all part of the same step here and you can break it into more steps or think of it however you want, I'm just trying to create a structure for you to walk through this. Here's a little awesome secret about harmonization. Any one note, now that you know, a chord has three notes in it, one, three, five of the chord, three notes, every other note for three notes in the scale. That's called the one, the three, the five of each chord, or the root, the third, the fifth of each chord. So every chord has a root, third, fifth. Okay, there are other types of chords too. You can add sevens and stuff. We're just talking about these three note chords, which are called triads. Well, every note, 
that you decide is an emphasized note that you want to add a chord to because it's on beat one and three or because it lasts for a long time or wherever you decided, you get to be the artist now. You get to kind of make these choices. Every note could be the root of a chord, the third of a chord, or the fifth of a chord. So that means three different chords can harmonize this. Okay, well, it can be the root of the one chord. What other chords has that in it? Well, this is the one of the scale. So you just have to think backwards every other note. Okay, if it's the root of a chord, well, that makes sense. What if it's the third of a chord? If it's the third of a chord, you gotta go down. One, seven, six. Oh, it's the third of this chord. One, two, three, da, de, do, de, do, de, do. Even if you're so confused by this, that's okay. I'm, I am giving you the steps. You can kind of scratch your head and kind of work through this over time. Well, this is the one. We said it could be the root of the chord. It could be the third of the chord, or it could be the fifth of the chord. So what if you go down? Call it five, but play the scale. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, it could be the five of this chord. Call it five, but go down the scale. Five, four, three, two, one. Same with the other way. You call it three and go down the scale. Three, two, one. Oh, it could be the three of this. Oh, it could be the five of this. Oh, it could be the root of this. Okay, so da da do da da do, and then or da da do da da or da da do da da. Okay, so I have three chord options. I know what they are now. It's the one chord, six chord, or four chord. Those three chords. What about this note? Da da do da. That's definitely a strong note. Okay, it can be the root of the fifth chord because that's the note, and I caught made it the root. So easy enough. That could be that chord. Okay. Well, what if I call it three and go down the scale? Three, two, one. Oh, it could be the third of this chord. Uh, okay, let's try that. Da da do da. Or da da do da. Okay, or da da do da da. Okay, it can be the five. I'm gonna go up an octave here. Call it five and go down a scale. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, it could be the five of the root of the one chord of the key. So, oh, we could stay on this chord. Da da do da da do da da do da da. Or da da do da 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 do da da. Or da da do da da. Or so many options, right? Isn't that cool? You can really kind of find your own way. And of course you can add extensions and colors and sevenths to those once you find that core kind of harmonization. So harmonization. So ba ba da 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 Okay. That's a critical note. This is one. Do 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 and this is one. Okay, I already figured out all this. Du, du, du. That's a new note. Okay, well that's the four of the scale, so I can do four on it. You get the picture. It's just kind of thinking logic, logic, logic. If you're the type of person that needs to write some of this stuff out and just write down the numbers of each chord. Okay, you have a scale one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The two chord is two, four, six. The three chord is three, five, seven of the scale. So when you figure out your scale degree numbers and you say, Oh, I landed on the four in my melody. Which chord has the four in it? Oh, that one, that one, that one. You could do it however you want, right? I'm just giving a quick walkthrough of it uh, for us here. So I have a very simple harmonization I can do now. Often the answer that maybe feels the most correct or the most obvious is the simplest one. So what if I go da da ba 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 Huh, just landed on that here, but this chord. Or what if I go da da do da da do da 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 because this note was in both those chords, I just kind of delayed it a little bit. Step number five is putting it all together and trying it, listening to it, seeing how it sounds. So if you're inclined to sing it all, do what I did and kind of sing it and work it out and you're off to the races. You're writing a song, you're writing a melody, you're composing, you're harmonizing your melody. If you need to record your melody just on your phone and then play it back and try to play the chords or record your chords, play the melody, do whatever you gotta do to piece it together and feel like you have made your own music, you have made your own melody and harmonized it. Or of course, take any other melody and work on this and harmonize it. As you do this kind of thing, like everything else, 
he gets faster and faster and faster and faster till these things are just obvious. Like, oh, if I'm on this note, boom, 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 these chords work on it because I've done this before. So take it easy at first, take it slow at first, let it take hours for you to kind of figure out one little thing and it'll get shorter and shorter and shorter uh, for you to be able to do that in the future. So if it's something you want, it's of course always worth it and it's a great skill to have. So that's my introductory kind of overview lesson on harmonizing a melody on the guitar, finding the chords that go to a melody. If you don't know your chords through the key yet, one chord, two chord, three chord, and a bunch of options to play those chords in multiple keys, get my chord chart. It's called Chords with Color. It's totally free. It's a really awesome, unique chord chart that I made myself. And there's a link to it in the top of the description for you to download it for free. Or you can go to soundguitarlessons.com slash chords with color. It shows your chords through five different major keys and the minor key versions of those keys and a bunch of different chord options, not just one, but many ways to play the chords that add color extensions, just interesting, fun stuff to work on. And it's very related to what we did here because it's giving you what chord is what quality through what key. You can make up all kinds of melodies and then harmonize them with those chords uh, in that chord chart. So grab that if you want to. I post a new lesson video every week. Next week's lesson is going to be about harmonizing in a different way. We're going to harmonize single note melodies and sing along with them. And it's actually kind of more for an ear training exercise. Uh, hope to see you in that lesson next week. Take care and happy practicing.